God. How do you feel about soup? The secret starts with mom. Psychologists say believe that old saying, you are what you eat. And according to a new sh a survey, it shows that the choice of soup defines your personality. Uh, Dr. Brian Wansick uh, joins us this morning. He's a food psychologist and founder of the University of Illinois Food and Brand Lab. Good morning. Hey, good morning, John. Nice to be with you. Thank you, sir. I understand that you believe what people eat, how often they eat it, indicates personality traits. Now, prove it to me. Well, no, we've known for a long time that people have strong emotional connections with soup. And as part of the introduction of the new recipe line, Healthy Choice Soup has done a study of over a thousand consumers in, in, in the United States, mm -hmm. what they figured out is that there's a strong connection between the type of soup a person prefers and their personality traits. Oh, so in other words, instead of coming up and saying, I'm a Pisces or something like that, <laughs> that's it would right. be, I'm a chili beef. Right, and saying, what's your signs, what's your soup? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and even that's interesting. Is chili beef, if chili beef actually is your favorite soup, what it kind of says is that you're a very outgoing social person, you really like to be one of the boys, you're very competitive, and actually your uh, dark secret is that you really like comedies like The Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, tell me about some others. Let's talk about, because, you know, when you're growing up, Mom always said if you got a cold or the flu or anything, eat chicken hey. soup or chicken noodle soup. So what does that say about us? You know, that's interesting, the chicken noodle soup, because that is the most preferred soup in the United States. And people who like chicken noodle soup uh, tend to be very loyal family sorts of people. Mm -hmm. They also tend to rate themselves as being very witty and also affectionate. Um, <laughs> and actually, when we were talking about the types of things they like to do, these are also people who, if they're not working, like to watch talk shows or at least have them on in the background. <laughs> Tell me about some more. This is most interesting. I, I assume you've done a soup survey or somebody has. Oh, it, yeah, a, a thousand people across the nation. I don't know, do you have any uh, tomato soup lovers in the uh, in your studio? Well, as a matter of fact, we do. I'm being told yes in my ear now. <laughs> okay. The tomato soup lovers end up being interesting people because they're very affectionate people, but they also tend to be pet lovers. <laughs> so they either own pets or they really like pets. They also tend to be some of the most creative of all the soup lovers. And um, if we were to take these people and picture what they're doing on their ideal evening, they'd be... Uh, reading a book in a chair with their dog by their side or their cat in their lap. What about uh, <laughs> for the vegetable soup eater? Yeah, then what we call vegetable soup lovers, or we call them the better homes and gardeners. These not only tend to be the better cooks, but they also tend to be the people who um, are the most social. They tend to have a lot of friends. And if you look at what they like to do on their average day off, it'd be hang around the house with the food network in the background. I, I, this is an unsolicited testimonial, but I eat the healthy choice soups. I think, first off, they taste good, and I think that's what people look for, don't you? Hey, you what you're really going to like a lot more is that is that there's a new line coming out that have a lot of kind of interesting flavors, zesty gumbo, um, <laughs> there's the chicken alfredo, and what's going on with soups is that people are eating them a lot more frequently because uh, they're convenient, and they always also give these warm feelings. They're the most healthy comfort food a person can choose. Speaking of comfort food, you know, a lot of people like, uh, say, ice cream and all for comfort food. So right. has soup become a comfort food? Yeah, it's increasing in terms of the number of people who are eating it. And it's the one comfort, I think it's the ultimate comfort food because it's the one food you can eat that you don't feel guilty after eating. In fact, uh, one, of the, one of the things we found in our survey was that three quarters of the people who eat soup say they feel better about themselves after they eat soup. And they also say that soup reminds them of, this won't surprise you, Reminds them of warm childhood memories and also of their mother. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, and mom's always right. <laughs> oh, no, that's right. You know, uh, we have a lot more... Go ahead. I'm sorry, Don. We have a lot more detail about the different soup profiles. It's on the website. It's oh. healthychoice.com. Just okay. click on the little soup icon and uh, you can learn more about your soup sign. Uh, what is it? Healthy Choice makes what? About two dozen different soups? Yeah, about 22 different soups, and yeah. 15 of these that are coming out are new and food recipes. They're lower in fat, they're also lower in cholesterol, and they have some pretty exotic new flavors, too. Moving right. away from the top five favorite soups. All right, what about some of the uh, a really wild, crazy person? What kind of soup do they prefer? <laughs> Somebody that's off the wall, you know, comes from left yeah. field. Well, actually, one of the things that these people tend to do is they tend to supplement existing soups. So, for instance, they might like chili beef or tomato, but they add uh, Tabasco sauce to it. <laughs> or they might like chicken noodle soup, but what they might do is 
add additional uh, vegetables to it or they might add uh, a can of tuna fish. So you see them being very creative in the types of things that they do with their soups. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you very much. All you <laughs> need to know about soup. Let's just eat it and have fun, right? Because